Adrian Hogan. I wrestle for Hanks High School. I am a two-time state champion for the weight class 148. Going into my freshman year, it was pretty rough. You know, I've had people say like, you're gonna be the first one to go all four years. You're going to be um, a state champion right out of the back. And then you've had those that doubt and say, you know, like, don't get your hopes up. Like, it's okay to get second. But it wasn't until my dad told me, like, to forget what people say. Like, you do what you need to do. There, nobody else is going to do it for you. And he was the one that would wake up with me early in the morning to train. Had me pushing the van, pushing tires. When I came out, victorious you know it was it was amazing i felt really proud of myself and i was really thankful for my dad to be there with me sophomore year came and one of my ex captains told me you know like if you lose like that's like everybody's gonna know like everybody's gonna like tell you everybody and it was stressful but my dad told me the same thing and he would put me into to another into gyms. He had me training on Sunday mornings after tournaments, telling me like you know like you need to put in your work. I can only take you so far. I can only help you. It's all up to you. Going into my junior year in the summer. I had back problems. I was on injury for a while. For, I was out for three months. My back hurt so much that when I sneezed, I couldn't feel the left side of my leg. When my dad put me into push, you know, the training was harsh. It was hard. It's so frustrating that you want to cry. But the, the trainers help you get through it. They get you stronger, they get, they help you with that injury. Like they accommodate with what you can do and they push you a little bit more so you can go further. Uh, Mike's helped me a lot. He, I, he's helped me with my back. He always asks too if my back's okay, if anything's sore. He, and it's really, like you build a relationship with your trainers. You know, like Mike's come out and watch me wrestle. Ask like when I'm gonna wrestle next, and he's already gonna get a sweatshirt from Hanks. I would really recommend people to come to Push because it's not just another gym. You come here, the atmosphere is just so friendly that when you look at somebody, they you just smile. Mind you, if you're coming in really in the morning and you don't want to, you're kind of obligated to. Like, they don't want to be there either in the morning, you know, but the trainers here help make it fun. They make it more enjoyable. They don't yell at you. They tell you, like, you need to keep going, you need to keep pushing, you know, one more rep, one more set. And it hurts. It's hard work. It really is. And push will beat you to your limit. Everybody wants to be a champion. But nobody wants to do the hard work that champions do. And it takes three things for a champion to be a champion. Dedication, determination, and discipline. And if you don't have that, then you need to work harder for it.